hard to believe that Blue Origin is actually more than 20 years old and now they're just getting to their first human launch. But how is Blue Origin different from SpaceX and how is Elon Musk different from Jeff Bezos? It's incredible. In the empire of accomplishment, <laughs> Blue Origin for Jeff Bezos is, is kind of, you know, the, the tarnished jewel, at least right now. The ugly stepchild? Um, or, or let me put it, in, let me use the, the, word, the metaphor they use. It's the tortoise mm -hmm. and not the hare. Okay. He always wanted to go slow. He wanted to constrain the investment. He wanted to keep the team small. And he wanted to move step by step. And so suborbital or the edge of space and bringing tourists there was going to be the first step. And then they would get to orbit. And then they would go to the moon. And what happened was the hare came along. Elon comes along finances it with venture capital and then government contracts and gets all the glory and they do quite well. And I think Bezos, you know, has a fair amount of, uh, I don't know if jealousy is the right word, but curiosity that here Elon is getting paid by the government to launch and he is still funding Blue Origin to the tune of a billion dollars in Amazon stock every year. And so we've seen Bezos accelerate Blue Origin's timetable, its ambitions, its timeline, and seed a little bit of dysfunction over the past few years. And so far, there hasn't been a lot to show for it.